And now taking a look at your top story at this hour, the ANC General Secretary Greg Demandage has said that the ANC, the African National Congress should find a woman to be deputy president to manage succession. Reports suggest that speaking at the OR Tambu lecture held at Wanoktula Hall in Plattenberg Bay, Mandashe said that ANC owed an explanation if deputy president does not take over as president. The party is expected to elect its new leadership in December, but provincial conferences leading up to the party's national conference have been marred with violence and disputes over results. Now, in a tweet, Mandashe has said, and I quote, If President Zuma, with experience, refuses to hand over to DP, we will be in a crisis. Let us find a woman to be DP for succession to be managed. You as the ANC think is that uh, from rate, uh, but Mandashe has abandoned his responsibility of being the Secretary General. He has became the head of the local group and part of the chief lobbyist of the Deputy President, which unfortunately would mean that we um, would, would have to deal with the Secretary General, who is now a lobbyist, uh, who, 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 who speaks as if uh, he was not the Secretary General. I do not know whether this is the formula or a criteria of electing leadership that he has recently composed in his mind. But so far as the ANC processes are concerned, we know all of the, we know that as the ANC, you think those processes do not prescribe who to elect. You know, I we want to delete this matter in the as the UK because this thing of uh, people saying that uh, it becomes automatical that the deputy president must uh, must take over from the, the president. And uh, and uh, they say and they argue that this is a culture. We cannot have a situation where the Secretary General wants to manipulate and arrange the appointment of the president of the ANC. We are not some cabal. We are a democratic organization that makes use of democratic processes to appoint our leaders, and we affirm and empower the members of our branches who are delegates at the National Elective Conference through that democratic process. I think um, it's one of those cases where the Secretary General of the ANC he spoke, but also he was also expressing his own preference. But in terms of the democratic process of the ANC, his statements were out of order. First of all, you have a president who has never declared that he wants to be a president for life. And secondly, you have a president who has indicated that he has no intention of serving the third term. And thirdly, it is not the business of the Secretary General to be able to say, to say somebody might be unwilling when the person has not expressed that sense of unwillingness. And third, fourthly, I think you should also respect the branches, that the process of who gets appointed is a, a democratic process. It's not something that you, you will because you are a person who is an administrator of the organization. Yeah, the, the most important issue is that the, the outcome is not known up front unless the elections are already rigged. So this is a, an irresponsible statement by the Secretary General of the ANC.